privilege to, to have an opportunity to present our research work about repeated cycle of intraarticular sodium hyaluronate in failed conceived treatment of the knee osteoarthritis of 54 months follow up for the introduction in Thailand they have been introduced since uh, 2001 about the intraarticular hyaluronic range from 500 to uh, 730 kilo Dalton. Um, even though we get a very good success outcome of the total knee long term, but 5 to 10 percent is a complication risk and we need to revise. We just get published uh, the data three years ago for the 24 month follow up that we can save the knee 79.8 percent. We focus in failed conceptual treatment. The question is can we repeat uh, the treatment and we can delay the time of surgery until the appropriate time. So the purpose of the study, the primary endpoint is to evaluate the incidence of the total knee replacement in patients receive repeated cycles of intraarticular hyaluronic acid during a 54 month follow up period. The method and method is a prospective court study approved the ethic committee. We recruit the patient um, during March 2001 and March uh, 2004, with the follow up until October 2008. The criteria is number one, we diagnose the uh, primary knee osteoarthritis according to the American College of Rheumatology criteria, and secondly, should be failed conceived treatment for more than six months, and thirdly, they are candidate for totalitoplasty, no indication for surgery, and the, the exclusion of all the inflammatory arthritis. The method and method, we divide three groups. The group one is the OBA grade one, uh, which they still see the joy space. The group two is OBA grade three, which is minor bone attrition, and grade four. The group three is the OBA grade four, which is lateral subluxation. We inject once a week for three weeks. And this is a bear like characteristic of the patient. You will see we have the 183. Uh, patient 208 knee and uh, average it is 68.7 and most of them is a household ambulator and if um, they do not respond we recommend to do the total knee within four weeks after injection and if it respond we recommend to repeat the cycle within range from 6 to 12 months and statistical analysis, we use a kaplan meyer survey analysis by the starter version 10 and p-value of less than 0 0.05. This is the result for the summaries. Uh, in the group one, uh, we can save the knee about 80.4%. In the group two, uh, we can save the knee 64.3%. And group three, it, uh, we can save the knee 73.1%. And for the total 183, we can save the knee 71.6%. Uh, and for the number of the injection, because this one is the long-term study, for the overall that we underwent the total knee arthroplasty, number of repeated cycle is 1.69, and the one that we get successful for avoided surgery is a 5.92. And this is the kaplan meyer survey curve demonstrate the proportion of the patient who did not require total knee. On the distance, can we focus on the failed conceptual treatment? And to get a good result, depend on the severity classified by the radiographic assessment, age, ambulatory status, and patient expectation. Repeat that cycle is a better solution for uh, extend the time for uh, surgery, we recommend in the 6 to 12 months uh, period. But not all intraarticular hyaluronic acid provide the same long-term benefit as mentioned in the Crocken review. The limitation of the study is uh, even this is prospective cohort study, but some extent of the natural history of the OA might be in fluent. And however, uh, 
our aim of the study to present the benefit of the repeated cycle of intraarticular hydrochloric acid in the real life situation. In conclusion, repeat use of the intraarticular hydrochloric acid injection in the osteoarthritis who fail conceptual treatment is also important to maintain long term benefits. And with the repeated cycle, uh, once a week for three weeks, duration is six to 12 months, we can delay time to surgery for the follow up 52 months. Thank you.